I just realized that I've been doing the zoom in effect wrong my entire career. So inside of Premiere, there's a number of ways to do the zoom in effect. The most popular one is doing keyframes on not only scale, but also position, especially if you're gonna have to kind of move uh, what is in the center of the image. So we're talking about four keyframes every single time you do this, and that can get a little bit tedious, uh, but I just realized that I kind of been adding too many steps to this equation and I had no idea you could do it in half the amount of keyframes and it's using the anchor position tool. Once you click on that tool, a little blue crosshair appears upon the image and you can kind of put that wherever you want the end scale to kind of focus in on. And then after doing that, when you use the scale effect, it's going to zoom into that spot. So you can already see what's going on here. I set an initial keyframe for when I'm all the way zoomed out. And then when I go to the end where I want that zoom in to end, and I scale that in, you can see it's gonna go directly towards where the crosshair is at. Two keyframes instead of four. That's a lot better, but that's not it. There's another cool way you can do this using the adjustment layer and the transform effect. Now the anchor tool isn't gonna work in this, unfortunately, if you move the anchor, it's just gonna automatically move the image all around. But after doing all of the tedious keyframes on one adjustment layer, now I can take that adjustment layer, copy it and multiply it as many times as I want to on my timeline. And it's gonna do the same thing over and over again. Now, if I need to adjust any of those specific positioning, I can go to that specific adjustment layer, go to the positioning and just refix that one positioning. But if most of them work, then you've been able to duplicate that over and over again. My happy place is a world with less keyframes and I bet you it is for you too. And that's it. Those are some of the options for zoom and effect in Premiere.